Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the women of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, guys, this video is about body language and how us men oftentimes misreading body language of a woman. Well, this is reflected very, very well in season one, episode five of The Big Bang Theory. The guys are sitting down at the table in the Cheesecake Factory. Apparently, Leonard has talked them into going to the Cheesecake Factory so he can have another shot at Penny. The scene opens up where the guys are reenacting the Battle of the Gettysburg with all the condiments on the table. And there's an argument going on. And finally, Penny comes over and says, listen, guys, either you get out or you order some food. So she approaches Howard first. And Howard says something like, well, what would you recommend for a hungry man size appetite after just working out with weights and doing some cardio? And she looks at him and says, a shower. <laughs> you can tell she's so disgusted with him. Why does he keep bragging about himself? He has no imagination and he doesn't know any other way to approach a woman other than talking about how great he is. And guys, there's nothing that creeps out a woman more, especially the way Howard Wallowitz approaches Penny. Penny then turns to Sheldon. Sheldon argues about why they're not at Bob's Big Boy and he doesn't know what's on the menu, doesn't know what's good. Finally, they order barbecue burgers. Both he and Leonard order barbecue burgers. Then Leslie Winkle walks in. And Leonard introduces Leslie to Penny as their neighbor across the hall. And again, Howard jumps in and says something about her beauty. Now, guys, a woman that just walked up who is attractive also, why would you focus your attention on one woman? That's embarrassing to the other woman. And guess what? To Penny, it's even embarrassing to her. And she looks at, at, at Howard and says, listen, I told you not to do that doesn't look like Howard is very good at listening. Anyway, Leslie goes on to ask Leonard about playing the cello in the physics string quartet. Leonard agrees to do so, and as Leslie walks off, Penny, now guys, pay close attention to the scene. Penny looks at Leonard and says, wow, Leonard, I didn't know you played the cello. And the way she says it, it's obviously impressing her. And guess what? Leonard doesn't see it. All he has to do is say, well, gosh, Penny, yeah, I want you to come over sometime. I'll play a couple of songs for you. Instead, he says something that, again, is embarrassing to him. Yeah, my parents thought that naming me Leonard and putting me in advanced placement classes wasn't getting me beat up enough, so they made me take cello lessons. <laughs> Leonard. That was an ideal opportunity, guys, for him just to say, Penny, would you like to come over sometime? I'll play the cello for you, or I'll go over to your house and play the cello. She probably would have said, yes, that'd be great. Anyway, then Penny goes on to say, well, gosh, are you, are you seeing Leslie? And of course, Leonard thinks, oh, now I gotta be cool. So he puts his arm back up in the chair and says, uh, no, no, I'm not seeing Leslie. And guess what? Sheldon jumps in and says, well, yeah, he tried asking her out, but had a miserable failure. And of course, that embarrasses poor Leonard. And Penny looks down at Leonard and says, oh, gosh, that's too bad, Leonard, because you guys would make a cute couple. And as she's walking off, she touches Leonard's forearm. Guys, these are, these are huge signs that a woman is interested. This, the show cuts to the scene of now Sheldon and Leonard walking up the stairs of their apartment. And Leonard asking Sheldon, of course, of all people, Sheldon, gosh, do you think Penny meant something by telling me that Leslie and I would make a cute couple? Guys, yes, she did. She was excited to hear that they're not a couple. She was so excited that, of course, she's dancing around by talking about how you guys would make such a cute couple. She's interested in Leonard, gentlemen. This is only the fifth, the fifth episode. And she's interested in Leonard, and Leonard is just missing the boat on body language. All you have to do, gentlemen, is pay attention. Look, listen to what they say. Don't take what they say literal. When she says, you guys would make a cute couple, what she means is that I'd consider going out with you. 
Yes, guys, we got to kind of read between the lines. Anyway, gentlemen, I hope this video has helped you get a little bit closer to finding the woman of your dreams, or at least understanding and helping you be observant about reading body language. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, gentlemen, because there's some great videos out there that will help you get closer and closer and closer to the woman of your dreams. I'll see you in the next video.